Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. Ignore the mess back here. You can tell that's where I take my, most of my um, clothes pictures, but just ignore it, okay? Thanks. Okay, today we're here for a thread up unboxing. We're here for a thread up denim unboxing. I'm gonna pick you up and show you. Hopefully it won't fall out. See my box? Can you see it? Yep. I would have it lifted up on the chair to make it easier for y'all to see me pull things out, but it weighs 50 pounds. And I can't do that. <laughs> so, here we go. I have already untaped the box. I've not looked inside of it. Uh, yes, this, for those of you who know, this is Thrift Free February. And I am not thrifting, but I ordered this before February began. I have several boxes that I put aside to, or to open after February. Let's get busy and see what is in my thread up denim box. Now, it's coming to the end of winter, but people still need jeans in the spring. spring and a lot of people wear jeans during the fall. I personally, as soon as it gets warm up, put on my shorts and I don't go out of them. Um, but I know a lot of people do wear their denim jeans all year long. So let's see what I have and let's see if I've got anything worth listing. The cost of this box was $60 plus tax. I didn't have to pay shipping because I ordered so much from ThreadUp last year on their boxes and stuff. So hopefully some of the rest of you are experiencing that too because it really does save when you don't have to pay shipping. So let's get going. Okay, the first pair of jeans is a pair of Levi's, not familiar with that tag, it's a cute little tag, um, jeans, it says genuinely crafted, I don't know anything about them, they are a seven, so that is junior sizing, um, cute jeans, little bitty, puckering seems to be okay, so I believe these will get listed, now, um, I'll try to tell you what I'm going to list them for, and then, if it's any different, I'll post right over there, okay? So, I will probably list these being juniors for maybe $15.95 since they're juniors. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Gap jeans. Sorry, sometimes. A pair of Gap jeans, another tiny pair. Um, they are a size 2, 2 little bitty they're short i mean somebody little bitty fit into these um these i don't know if i list them to move them fast i'll probably list them for like 11.95 just to get them out of here um and make some money on my box i don't normally do that but those are going to be a hard sell it's going to have to be somebody special to fit into those jeans okay these are definitely high rise and they are made well now i always had i've sold a couple of made well not many these are made well let's gonna see if i can find they are the eight inch high rise skinny um nine inch sorry nine inch high rise skinny um but i've not had any luck so maybe i've got them overpriced i'm not having real luck i got four made well pair, pairs of made well jeans in my last box and um i think i've sold one and that's been several months, a couple months, maybe. So I've got to figure out, I must be priced them too high, so let me go back and look at them again. Um, so I think to move, right, things are along, we'll go for $19.95. Okay. These are a pair of American Eagle. Now these are high rise also. They are the next level stretch. And they are the curvy high rise jegging. I like American Eagle because 95% of the time they are putting what it is. Now, we do have a problem. I was really excited because they were cute and everything. There is some pulling there. Um, let me look at them a little bit closer. Oh, I think they'll be okay. I'll just make sure and note that and take pictures of it. But I will probably list these for $15.95. Again, I'm trying to move things. 
Um, I love getting these boxes, but if I price everything so high that nobody's going to buy it, I'm just stuck with a lot of jeans. Stuck. Maybe that's not a great word, but I have a bunch of jeans. So if I list them to where people are going to buy them, I'll still make some money on the jeans because I'm paying um, generally about a dollar and a quarter a pair. So if I, you know, if I'm getting ten dollars um, from each pair and I'm paying eBay fees and I'm still making six to seven dollars, so I only have to have what eight eight pairs to get um, to make my money back paying off at $10 each. So I think I'm, I think I'm about to get it in my head. Okay. This next pair is a pair of loft and these are also, no, they're mid rise. I think mid rise and they are a 27 and they are the curvy, sorry, curvy skinny. They're cute jeans. Again, I'll probably list these at $12.99. $12.95. I usually the end mine in a five. Um, it's just how I do. That way, whenever I make offers, whether it's computer generated, you know, I'm just typing in 25% or whatever. Normally, it doesn't hit that 95. So I know that any price that I'm looking at, if it doesn't end in 95, it's probably going to be an offer of some sort. Them offering me or me offering them. Okay, this is another pair of Madewell jeans, and these are definitely high-rise. These are, I think they started out as just distressed, like right across the knee, and then it split and went up higher. Uh, they do have the raw hem, so if it, I mean, I think it's even a stepped hem. If they hadn't gotten that extra tear going up the leg, um, then I think they would be great. These are the high-rise slim boy jean in a size 27. Uh, probably list these for, um, I may list all my made well for $19.99 and just see how they go. Okay, the next is a pair of cute maternity jeans with the distressing and everything. Just because somebody's pregnant doesn't mean they can't look cool. Now, that would not look cool on a 58-year-old woman or this 58-year-old woman. It probably looks cool on a lot of people. But this isn't an expensive brand. It's Indigo Blue, but it's made real well. Looks like the rear end is good and full, which sometimes we get a little extra fullness there. So depending, um, probably like 13 to 15.99. Okay, the next is a pair of chambray trousers. And these are by Apostrophe. They're cute little work prout trousers in a slight flare. It's kind of a boot cut, but it's kind of, I'm sorry. It's kind of between a boot cut and a flare, but I would say a flare if I, that's what I would list them as. Let's see if it tells us. They're a size two. And I don't know if y'all, that's about all it gives me. So cute pair of trousers. I don't know if y'all uh, saw well, in my last video, if I didn't, I'll go watch it. It was fun. But I put in there, if I was a little bitty girl, I mean woman, a teenager to a college student somewhere in there, I would order one of these boxes about little bitty because, my gosh, you would be set. And for $50, you would have some awesome jeans. Now, the bigger ones you're taking a chance on. But, you know, if you're a little bitty, a size 2 or a 4, then... So just buy one for personal, and then you can sell the ones that, that don't fit. Okay, the next is a pair of American Outfitter, American Eagle Outfitters. Um, I've got a little bit of puckering there, too. They are the super, super stretch in a jegging. So they do, like I said, they do have the puckering. They're a cute pair of jeans, probably $13.99, $95. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Seven for All Mankind. Uh, these, see if it tells me what kind they are. They're 26, so another not so big. It doesn't tell me what kind. They look kind of high rise, not super high rise, but high rise. I don't know much about these, but probably $15.95. I'm going, I'm pricing to sell, and that's kind of what I've decided. 
I've done a lot of inventory. So what that's telling me is either I'm overpricing my stuff or I'm not buying the right inventory. So right now I'm going with the, hey, you're doing okay with your inventory. Let's lower our prices a little bit because it's much better sold than it is sitting in bins in your house. Okay, the next pair of jeans is, let me see if I can read this button. This is, wow, I can, California Giant. I don't know. Kind of looks like that. I don't know anything about it. these look low rise. I'm gonna put these in the, I don't know, because I don't know anything about it, but I will do a little bit of research and see, um, see if they're worth anything, if I can figure out what kind they are. I can look a little closer at that, but. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Fashion Nova jeans. Um, these are real uh, puckered through here, so these are going to the donate pile. I don't have any problems selling Fashion Nova. I just want it, because I would much rather get two lives than just one that he got. Um, but it's really puckered. Somebody could get some use out of them. Uh, I'd like to see somebody, like, them go to a place that's going to sell them for a dollar. Then Goodwill is going to try to sell them for five or six dollars. The next pair of Capris is a pair of Refuge, and it is a size four. They are very, very distressed. Um, $13.95. Again, if I'm completely wrong, if I'm just off a dollar or two, I'm not going to put anything, but if I'm completely wrong, you're seeing it right there. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Joe's jeans. Looks to be a high-rise uh, ankle jeans. Let's see if it's going to tell us any different. W is high-rise skinny ankle. It's a waist of 29 so not bad. Probably go for them for $15.95. This is my goal. This box is how fast can I make a profit and get rid of all these items, especially since this is for free February. Okay. The next pair of jeans is a pair of American Eagle. These are the newer ones. Next level stretch. And they are the jegging. Okay. Let's check out. Okay. They are middle. But they've got some nice distressing, real good for right now in the coming up spring. Um, $15.95. If, if, if I'm telling you completely wrong, please let me know. Um, because I may, it may take me, I may not know. And uh, we all need help. These are American Eagle Outfitters. If it says American Eagle Outfitters, it's going to be one of the older um and I'm not even sure. Let me see if this one says it's a jegging. It's a size two. And let's see. I don't think they say the year. Yeah, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. No, don't see a year. So I'm not sure, but they might be mid rise. Kind of a mid to low. Um, $13.95. Okay. We are moving right along. And these are a pair of tricot or tricot jeans in a mid to high rise with a raw hem. These are ankle jeans, real cute. They are a size 326, which means they are a juniors. I don't know anything about these, so you will definitely be seeing um, information about these. I like finding out new things about items. Do you? I think that's part of the inquisitiveness we have as resellers. That is just fun, finding out things, okay? This is obviously not a pair of jeans. This is a denim jacket by Nina Leonard. Uh, it's chambray stretch, a little, um, little blazer jacket. Really cute. Nothing fancy. Um, so I'm going to say 15, 14 15. I don't know. Okay. And now we got another not pair of jeans, which this is a denim box, not a jeans box. This is a pair. This is a cold shoulder shirt. It's an extra small 
Miami, and it's got the cold shoulder here. I don't do cold shoulder, especially this small, so I'm gonna put that in the donate pile. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with cold shoulder, but in an extra small, somebody who can wear an extra small probably didn't experience the cold shoulder of a two or three or four years ago, so they're not hanging on to it. Okay, another pair of maternity jeans, and these are also indigo blue. Okay, these aren't real big. Let me see if it says what size. I bet they do. These are a PSTTP or TPP. Hmm, not sure what that means, but I'm sure that will say something. I don't know. I'm going to put these in the I don't know pile right there. I have a I'm going to donate pile, I don't know pile, and a go ahead and get it listed pile. And I may, you know, branch off from there. I'm pretty bad about that, okay? <gasps> First time I've ever found this brand. Yay! I love finding brands that I hear some of you talk about that are new to me. So... Here we go, a pair of Reformation jeans. All right, and they are nice jeans. I mean, I can see what they, why, why yep, they sell pretty decent or they're worth a lot of money. These are a 24, that's the only negative thing. I have no idea what, what Reformation jeans sell for. If they even sell, they may not sell what American Eagle. I've just heard y'all speak of them and I love to find new brands. So yeah, I will be definitely letting you know about how much I expect to get. Okay, another pair of maternity jeans. These two feel close to the same size. So, what are these? These are, yeah, that same PSTPS, something like that. So, maybe I can lock these together and list them for $10 and move them right along. You know, because by the time they pay for shipping, and I charge shipping on everything, guys. Okay, that's not the truth. I charge thrifting on 99.5% of the things I have in my closet. Um, so that that's good that I got another pair. Now, maybe somebody needs those two pair of maternity jeans. The other ones were much bigger. These two, I believe, are the same size. Okay, the next pair of jeans that I don't find too often is a pair of Hudson. Actually, I've never found them in the wild. I found them in... in um, the boxes so I like these jeans let's see if it tells me what kind they are they are a size 27 but I don't see a what kind so let's say $17.95 okay the next pair of jeans I don't think or oh, let's see if it says it over here Okay, I do not see a brand name on these at all. And if they weren't so short, I would try them myself. And I don't have any hips, so the hips right there would probably be. But they're real short. Um, these, I think, are definitely go to the donate pile. Okay. The next item is Itty Bitty. I believe these are a pair of Wrangler. Not written anywhere, but I believe that's the W that's on a Wrangler pair of jeans. These are kids' jeans. Yeah, they're 10 slim. I was excited because that's the size of my, the height of my son, the grandson's jeans. So those will probably go in the donate pile. Um, either to a friend of mine that has adopted so many foster kids or to uh, one of the local one of the local stores okay this is a pair of time and true jeans um they're the jeggings i will try these on that is my size the 12 14 and see how they do i don't know i think it's faded glory that fit me the ones that say faded glory that fit me better but I will try them on. Um, if not, I'll probably donate them. So I'm going to put these in the... I don't know. So how am I doing? I feel like I, I mean, I'm going to make my money back. There is no doubt. How quick I'm going to make my money back, that's a different question. 
Okay, this is a pair of Celebrity Pink um, Distressed. And these are a light color, which is perfect for spring. These are the mid-rise ankle skinny. So cute jeans, uh, $11.95. It's hard to do that. That's a, But the thing about when you get like a bulk box like this, you got to decide. You're, either you're going to donate a whole bunch of them and just list, you know, I probably would have had maybe two to three I would have listed um, if I, or would have bought out in the wild. Or you're going to list them low and make your money back, okay? So you just got to kind of decide what you're going to do. This is a size one in a mid-rise skinny. It does have the cutest hem. Definitely a frayed hem. Cute. Um, so cute jeans, just itty bitty. So $11.95. Hopefully I will weigh all these jeans and jeans, at least the smaller ones, are right on that cusp of being 16 ounces or 17 ounces. So make sure, don't just assume on all of your denim that it is priority. Or don't just assume that the little sizes are all first class. You need, especially the jeans, you really do need to weigh. Okay, the next is a pair of Venice jeans. Never heard of them. B Venice. They are super low rise and they are a one regular Venice skinny. Um, I don't have any idea about these, but I will check them out. Okay, the next is a pair of Old Navy OG Straight. First, I thought these were men's, but you no, know, they are women's because my hand's not going down in there. And when I look up the size, sorry, I was looking up information. They are a, the Straight Natalie, and they are a size, guess, I'm sure it's on here somewhere. Just not jumping out at me, but I will keep looking for this one. And I'm thinking probably it does have some um, heel drag. $11.95. Am I making my money back yet? Am I selling these quick and getting them out? I hope so. Okay, the next is a pair of Levi 710 Super Skinny. You know, why can't these cute little jeans be normal people's size this is itty bitty this is a kids how do i know it's a kids because they have this right there that way they can tighten them up if they're too big for their child i will check but these are going to go in the i don't know okay the next pair of jeans is cute these are BP, okay, look to me, high rise, oh, mid, probably mid, distressed, cute distressing, not too much, cute, uh, they are a size 24, and let's see if they list, cute little pocket, I, I just have to put it up here, BP, B responsible so not very big um unless i learn something different 11.95 okay i tell you have i gotten anything bigger than a 30 maybe those one pair well no two those old navy pair might be bigger than a 30 and the one pair of maternity jeans but the rest of them are itty bitty probably i could say most of them are under 28, okay? Speaking of that, this is a pair of Forever 21. Sorry, Forever, it's kind of hard to see. Forever 21, and they are a size 25. Just your basic, but cute, cute distressing. Um, 11.95. Uh, like I was, I was doing a video and I said, you know, I just don't know what they're worth. And somebody put, Forever 21 has quite a following. And they do. I went back and looked at stuff and I have sold the fire out of Forever 21. Not for a lot. But if I get it in a box like this, 
why not list it? I'm not going out thrifting it. I'm not going to go out and pay $6 for a pair of jeans and sell them for $11.95. But if I get this and it's already in the box, go ahead and list it. Okay, another pair of kids jeans. These are denizen. These will go in the, if they were longer, they look like they're, I don't know, they just look small. They're kids. They're going to go in the donate. Okay. This is a pair of Calvin Klein jeans. I am real happy in that I have not got many with major puckering. I'm not sure this label has seen better days. So I'm not sure. I'll have to spend a little more time. But maybe $13.95. I'm getting rid of this stuff. Okay. The next is another pair of kids' drink jeans. These are a pair. They're cute little jeans. I wish my grandson had a pair like this. But these are definitely girls. They are Blue Tail. Never heard of that brand. They're high rise. Cute little girls' jeans. I'm going to put them, since I've never even heard of this, I'm going to put them in my maybe pile, so at least I'll look them up and see if they're worth anything. The next item is I Love H81. I've gotten a couple of that brand. It does have some pulling right there. Um, it is a size 25. I'm tempted to go through here and lot all, I mean, honestly, and just put them on Poshmark, lot all the size 25s together for $25 and sell them on Poshmark. I have half my box bought right then. I may do that. That's not such a bad idea, at least, okay. Because I got a bunch of little bitty, little bitty American Eagle. Are these adults? They're jeggings. Let's see what size they say there are. They are a double zero short. Now, I will probably go ahead and list that because it's hard for double zeros just like it is for plus size to find it. And I may just list them to get rid of them at eleven ninety five. Sorry. It's getting lower in the box. Okay, these are a pair of Old Navy Capris in a size one. <sighs> These are definitely in, I don't know, just below the waist. So kind of a mid-rise. I don't know. I'll put those in the I don't know. My I don't know pile is catching up with my other pile. This is cut from the cloth, toothpick skinny in a size size six yep these look good pro oh i lied i spoke a little too soon you know these aren't worth as enough to like put these up even though they got this huge hole in the crotch so i will be donating them because somebody can sew them up and have a nice pair of jeans okay these are kind of cool you know i'm surprised like in my one that i got two or three months ago i probably got 15 pairs of shorts. This is my first pair of shorts. Oh, it's not even a pair of shorts. This is a skirt. Oh, that cute. I'm gonna have, this may be worth something. I'm not sure. First of a kind. This is a pair of Wrangler. And I think, based on how they look, I may be wrong, but the fact that it's first of the kind, I believe this was taken from a pair of jeans and I'm um, given a second life. These are cute. These are something I definitely want to check. And I'm sorry, I haven't, I have no idea what that's worth. Never heard of that brand. But that's why I'm guessing. It's one of those that takes the brands and refurbishes them. This is a pair of Gap 1969 jeans and a 26. So, just your basic jeans. Um, $13.99, $11.99. I'm really thinking about sorting these out. And now I can't do it on eBay because shipping would be prohibitive. Actually, I might could and just do, make sure I have the right dimensions and the right weight on my box. Go ahead and pack it up, pack it up and get it ready. And um, then list it 
that way. But I charge flat rates right now, but I could do it the other way. Poshmark, they'd be getting a great deal. If I list, you know, because this right here costs seven plus in shipping. I never can remember that amount. Or five of them cost seven plus in shipping. So uh, I'm thinking I may try that with a lot of these jeans. This is a pair of Hollister size 24 jeans, 29, I don't know, 11.95. I will list them, they're nice shape. Not everybody likes distress, okay? These are kids 5'11 skinnies, sorry. They're a eight regular, they're two. My son, grandson wears a 10 probably husky, um, so I will donate them. Hey, if we said we're 10, we sure would have tried to put them on his body. Don't you love it when you can get things you can keep? But honestly, there's nothing I can keep. My, well, I, that's wrong. That Faded Glory pair of pants, or the Time and True pair of pants might work, but other than that, I haven't found anything I'm gonna be able to keep. So this is a pair of Refuge jeans. They are definitely high-waisted. They're a top size zero they they do have the, their button fly discoloration let's see where did i see that discoloration it wasn't major but there was some discoloration right there um they are flare button fly they're cute jeans 11.95 i'm definitely not getting wealthy with this box but maybe if I get smart and do it that way, I might make some money, okay? So this is a pair of Madewell, definitely high rise, but another, another that. They've got some puckering. I'm gonna donate them. I just, I don't wanna deal with them. If they were, if they were in good shape, if they didn't have the puckering and everything, I would see about what I might get for them, but Somebody, you know, one of our stores is going to be happy to get a pair of Madewell jeans. Okay, this is a pair of White House Black Market jeans in a size M. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, I don't know. It not having a size. That's kind of hard on jeans, isn't it? An M? Maybe it's hidden somewhere. I just didn't see it. Um, $11.95. I thought maybe at first it would, they were big enough, but not if they're a medium. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a pair of Universal Thread. And Universal Thread is Target and a lot, of, just like Forever 21 and a lot of the other brands. A lot of people like to, um, they get a certain pair and they like them. And then when they can't get them, they want them. This is a size six. Does have a little bit of puck green there, a little bit. And it's cute, distressed. Um, Again, all these distressed ones are great going into the spring because it's kind of that tradition, but tradition transition between winter and spring. So what will I ask for those? Eleven ninety-five. Okay. The next pair of jeans is by So, and it's a size five. I'm gonna put these in. The, I don't know. I don't know that they're worth enough to mess with, but then a lot of these others. Okay. I know I usually try to be so upbeat with these boxes because I just love it open them because they are fun, but I've not been very lucky with this one. Okay. This is another pair of Madewell jeans with another hole in the crotch. Let's see. They are the 9-inch high-rise skinny skinny in a size 24 with another hole in the crotch. Now somebody in this area is going to have two pair of Madewell jeans. Dang. I was thinking if I got some Madewell jeans and could list them pretty cheap, you know, like $19.95. The next is a pair of blank NYC jeans. I got my first pair of these. Where did I get them? Oh, I picked them up at the Benz up in Rogers. These are a size 27. 
they're cute little jeans with some distressing. So hopefully maybe $15.95. We're down to the last, I think, four. This is so three more for this. Okay, another pair of Madewell jeans. Guess what? This girl, the only thing I can assume is this girl had a large thigh or she had a obsession with that. I've never seen that before. These are the 10, 10 inch high rise skinny, size 26. They're cute as can be, but they have puckering and a hole. Yeah, this is one of those things where you want to send it to Madewell and say, do you just always make your jeans where they had get holes there? But I know they don't. Like I said, I think that somebody just had maybe large thighs and they just rubbed. Forever 21 jeans. They're in good shape. Why can't my Madewell be in good shape? These are probably $9.95, $11.95. Two more pairs. Okay, this is a pair of Old Navy skinny, super skinny, in a high rise with no puckering. Let's see if there's a hole in the crotch. No hole in the crotch, yay. And they are a size, I have no idea. They're from 2018, the Black Jack. I'll just have to measure it and see what the size is. Um, but maybe $11.95, because they are in good shape, thank goodness. Okay, my last pair of jeans, my last pair of denim is a pair of Madewell. We're going to take a bet on if they got a hole in the crotch, puckering, or they're itty bitty bitty, okay? So it is a Madewell. They are high rise. There is a little bit of puckering, not much. They are the curvy high rise skinny in a 27. So, ah. Yeah, oh, no, I thought that was a hole, but that's just where the um, thread is. A little bit of puckering. Let's hope for, let's go for $17.95, okay? So let's see how many that I'm planning on keeping. that I'm pretty sure I'm going to list. So I said, if I could make an average profit of $10, that's $330 right there. And the jeans, they're not anything major. You just snap some shots, do some measuring, and you're in good shape. So the 33, sorry, I'm going to why I'm folding this right now. The 33 is a good number. Now those are for definites, okay? So then I have one. turn up to all be good, then I'm up to 44. So I am just barely over a dollar. Now I have out of that 50 pounds, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten definite donations. So when I, you will be seeing right now, right now, how much I am Going, how much each item is going to cost me. I'm taking these 10 off. They're donations. I'm taking them off. So however many items I'm going to list will be what you see here and how much per item they cost me. The best denim box I've ever had? Nah. A good denim box? Yeah. And this is from Suwannee, Georgia. You know, most of my stuff does come from Sewanee, Georgia, because I live in Arkansas, so it's just closer. Um, but thank you for watching this video. It's very long. That's the only problem with these large boxes. I could divide it in two, but if you're seeing it all together, 
I kept them all together. I made the vitamin too. 40 minutes is a long time for me to have a video. So thank you for watching, guys. And if you like this video, even though we didn't have any yays, then please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos by me, more unboxings, more uh, Goodwill unboxings, fun box unboxings, I've got two of those waiting to be un uh, unboxed, then hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want tips and tricks and you want to know what's selling for me, then hit that subscribe. I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.